Mennonite College of Nursing alum Donnie Bounds has committed a visionary estate gift in support of nursing education at Illinois State University. Like you, Donnie wants to ensure the availability of quality nursing care within Central Illinois and beyond. And like you, Donnie knows that excellent care starts with Mennonites' outstanding faculty, research opportunities, and scholarships that attract and retain the best and brightest nursing students. I want to thank you personally for your continued support of Mennonite. I hope you enjoy the following video about Mennonite's commitment to excellence and a fellow donor who is providing for the future of nursing education at Illinois State. My name is Donnie Bounds, and we are at Donnie B's Gourmet Popcorn and Gifts here in Bloomington, Illinois. Well, I got connected to ISU kind of by default because I graduated from Mennonite College of Nursing when it was a standalone college, and then in the mid 90s when it became a university or a college in the university, I by default became an ISU alumni. I went to Mennonite College of Nursing to get an RN to BSN uh, completion course, completed that, and then. Um, kept with the bug of education and went on and got my master's degree and started teaching nursing. And I've been teaching nursing at ISU for several years now. I decided to give back because um, I'm finally at a point in my life I'm not a starving student anymore and I have a little bit of extra money and um, you, you have to make choices of what's important to you, how you want to spend that money and I chose to give to the university because that's how I got where I am at. Somebody decided at one point to give and I was a, a beneficiary of that gift and that's how I was able to complete my first nursing degree as well as um, continue on through my um, upper grad degrees. So I think it's important that um, because somebody else gave for me, I need to give for them. So when I was looking for grad school options, it was really important to me that the program I chose was very student-centered, I suppose. Um, so I chose ISU because of all of the fantastic things people had to say about it. They offer high quality education, which is reflected, I think, in their um, high retention rates and then also their high pass rates for the national examinations. So I really liked kind of the, the community they built and the support that they showed their students. So I actually didn't know that I was going to go into nursing until late in my sophomore year. I was a transfer student. and. Uh, when I decided that I wanted to go into nursing, a lot of people that I would talk to about it, they were like, oh, have you applied to ISU? And ISU just kept on coming up. So I had uh, spent a little bit of time, like I've, I've had some trips to the emergency room before, and I guess just the experience that I had when, when those kinds of things happened, I was just like, oh, nursing seems kind of cool. Like a lot of the stuff that they get to do, like they seem like, I don't know, genuine, genuine people. So I kind of just wanted to be a part of that, that group. Uh, I decided to pursue nursing um, because my mom has been a nurse her whole life and I've grown up watching her come home after the satisfaction of helping patients all day. So far uh, in my time at Mennonite, I've valued my uh, connections and my relationships with my peers and my faculty. Uh, I know that nursing is one of the only programs on campus right now, so it's a privilege to be able to interact with people. And it's very nice. Um, I've made connections with people I never thought I would just because of my clinical group. Um, and the faculty has been very supportive and helpful every step of the way and I always feel so comfortable that I can reach out to any professor or instructor that I might need to ask a question or clarify anything. Donor support has been vital in my journey here uh, to obtain my FNP. I think without it, there would be a very difficult balance between maintaining financial responsibility and personal responsibilities. So as a student, um, I value the donor support in the sim lab, especially when I can see the different technology and pieces of equipment that can be brought in that might not have been available before, such as like new mannequins or different devices we can practice on. Getting these different experiences and different backgrounds allows me to know what I would like to do with my career in the future. And it also 
lets you practice a, a range of skills because what, what you might do at one place, you might not do at another. So it, it's just, you get to put every skill to use. I know guys in the, in the program that have gotten scholarships and that's really the only reason that they're, that they're here, being able to study nursing. So um, obviously that plays a huge role. I might not have ever met them and, and they, they played a huge role because I know we all, we all study together. We all have like a, like that's that certain bond. Like there's only a few of us, the few, the proud, the, the men in nursing. And obviously there's a, there's a men's group here at ISU where um, it's not only limited to the men, but it's just to kind of recognize that we're such a small, small group and that we do play like kind of a different role when it comes to nursing. So my legacy I hope to leave is that somebody else will have an easier path um, to get to become a nurse, to enjoy the things that nursing has given to me, and not just in a monetary value, but the things that I get to experience every day as a nurse that the majority of the world, non-nursing world, never get to experience. Uh, somebody needing you to um, help understand their diagnosis, to um, whether to stay healthy or to become well, and nurse is you know, part of all of that. And I don't know that people really realize that it's that easy to make that big of an impact that not only that's going to affect somebody today, but long, long after you're gone and long after all the leaders that are leading us now at the university or in our state or federal government, they're all gone. Your legacy and your money is going to continue on. So I think there's no better way to, to spend your money than to invest it into a student.